Hi, this is Eva Cartman, host of the Dream Big Podcast Show, the place to go to learn, laugh, and grow. Are you scared sometimes? Does fear stop you from doing the things you want to do? I can tell you that everyone, even the most confident people you know, have let fear stop them from taking an action that they know in their heart they should take. And today, I'm going to share a story of an inspiring young woman who decided to face fear head on, to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. Let's find out how she did it. You know what time it is. This is episode 259 of the Dream Big podcast, and it's time to dream big. My name is Eva Cartman. I'm part of a squad of super kids that are here to change the world. We don't believe you need to be adults to have big goals and start working towards your dreams. We believe age is just a number and you're never too young to make a difference. We may be young, but we are not naive. We understand that achieving our big dreams will not be easy. It will take incredible dedication, hard work, and yes, massive action. There will be ups and downs, but we embrace the challenges and relish pushing outside of our comfort zone because this is how we grow. They may not teach us these concepts in our school textbooks, but we are smart enough to know that the tools and tactics to achieve our big dreams are out there. And we are willing to do the work to seek out these skills and master them because we know that our future depends on it. We are the big dreamers, and it's time to dream big. Before we dive into this week's episode, here's Silly Sophia to make us all laugh. Where do hamburgers go to dance? They go to the meatball. (laughs) What letter of the alphabet had the most water? C. (laughs) Thank you, Sophia. I am so excited to share how to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. But first, I wanted to give a shout out to some big dreamers who reviewed the Dream Big podcast. Lily Papariki and Alexandria. Thank you so much for taking the time to leave a review. Big dreamers, I cannot even describe how helpful your reviews are for keeping us visible in Apple Podcasts, which just keeps on getting more and more competitive. If you can just take a few seconds to leave a review, I would love to shout you out on the podcast, just like Lily Papariki and Alexandria. I plan to pick out a few every week, so please go to dreambigpodcast.com slash iTunes to leave a review. Today, we have an episode of Mentor Magic, where I share lessons learned from a mentor that if we implement as young big dreamers, it can help us get to our big dreams so much faster. It's like magic. Today's mentor is Lovey Ajayi Jones. Lovey is an internationally recognized speaker who takes on dozens of stages every year around the globe and has spoken at some of the world's most innovative companies and conferences, including Google, Facebook, Amazon, Twitter, Makers, and South by Southwest. She has received numerous accolades, including being chosen by Oprah Winfrey as part of her inaugural Super Soul 100 list as someone who elevates humanity. My family and I watched Lovey's amazing TED Talk entitled Get Comfortable with the Uncomfortable, which I'll link to in the show notes at dreambigpodcast.com slash 259. Lovey shares that when she was a child, she grew up dreaming of being a doctor. She even shows a slide of Doc McStuffins during her speech, which reminded me of my sister Sophia, who loves that show. I'm sure Doc McStuffins has inspired countless young girls to dream of being a doctor, but it turned out that when Lovey grew up, she decided that she was not a fan of hospitals, so the whole doctor career wasn't going to work. She started blogging as a hobby and ultimately realized that her true purpose was to be a writer. But for years, she did not tell anyone that she was a writer. She was scared, fearful of not having a steady job with a retirement plan and a guaranteed paycheck. Lovey knew that she had to push past these fears and went on a mission to do things that would push her outside of her comfort zone. She had never left the United States, so she took her first solo trip overseas and on her 30th birthday went ziplining in the Dominican Republic. She was so scared of being submerged in water, so she went to Mexico and swam with dolphins underwater. She was scared of heights, so she went skydiving. 
That feeling of being on the edge of the plane and deciding to jump helped build confidence in other areas of Lovey's life as well. She embraced the fact that she was a writer and wrote her first book. She started publishing articles calling out injustices rather than being silent. The central theme of Lovey's speech was how important it is to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And a lesson that I took away from her speech is that you can start building that muscle, that muscle of being willing to step outside of your comfort zone, even if at first it's not the most important fear that you have to face. So for Lovey, that fear that was impacting her big dream was a fear of admitting that she was a writer and that was her true purpose. But the way she started getting comfortable with the uncomfortable was by going zip lining, underwater swimming with dolphins, and skydiving. These experiences helped her build up confidence that she was capable of facing her fears, and ultimately she applied that in her career as well. Blossoming into a best-selling author and one of the most charismatic speakers I have ever watched. So my question to you, to all you big dreamers, is what can you do to start getting comfortable with the uncomfortable? If your biggest fear is public speaking, you don't need to start by giving a speech in front of an audience. You can go on a roller coaster. You can go rock climbing. Do something out in nature that challenges you to step outside of your comfort zone, just like Lovey did. The more comfortable you get with being uncomfortable, the more likely you will be able to step up and face your fears when you face an obstacle on the way to your big dreams. That's all for today. This is Eva Cartman reminding you that you have unlimited potential. Your dream is not optional. You need to make them essential. So take massive action to turn those big dreams into reality. Live with passion the way life was meant to be. I'll see you next episode. Bye.